So welcome back to my new YouTube channel. It's day two here in New York City. Uh, if you've been following along, day one was all about New York City's finest pizza. And uh, I think whenever you think about coming to New York City, maybe the next best thing next to pizza is to try the New York City bagel. And so today, I am going to trek out to the west side of New York City and I'm going to find the best bagel uh, joint that I can possibly find. And in fact, I found a very interesting place. It's actually called uh, Best Bagel and Coffee. Uh, crazy good reviews. And I am going to walk over there, uh, maybe order up some sandwiches, some bagels, and showcase everything that I get for you guys and let you know what I think of New York's best bagel and coffee uh, shop. So let's go. Alright guys, so I made it here to the best bagel and coffee. That's the place that we're gonna go to. It's actually right behind me. And I just love the name, right? If you have a name that says the best bagel and coffee, it really gotta be the best, right? So uh, I'm really excited about this. Let's go inside and see what the whole fuss is about. Alright guys, so I got my order. Four giant bagels. Look at this right here. One, two, three, four. And I kid you not, these things are literally like bricks. Just feel how heavy it is. Feel the thud. This one especially, okay? Oh, maybe maybe this one. I really think they're like two pounds each, okay? Uh, and the great thing before I start like unraveling this is when I first came in, you could see the this gigantic line. And I can only fathom like, if you're coming here like at 6 a.m. in the morning, it's gonna be freaking crazy packed. I tried to get here as early as I could, but unfortunately I arrived at lunchtime still kind of crowded but not as bad as you know what it would be like in the morning so let's get to the unraveling of my bagels so the first thing I actually got I got their chipotle okay let's take a look at the chipotle take this take a look at this look at this beautiful bagel this chipotle bagel sandwich is actually on a what we call a an everything bagel so basically they put all kinds of stuff on top of the bagel so what I can see is I see poppy seeds I see like garlic bits I see sesame okay and just look at the sandwich oh my god look at that wow this tomatoes, there's bacon, there's chipotle sauce, there's cheese, or actually no cheese, oh, actually there is cheese. And obviously, chicken. This one is called the Asiago bacon or turkey bacon egg sandwich. And this is a breakfast sandwich. So take a look at this one. Check this out. This one is not toasted because they said Asiago bagel, they don't toast that. And look at this right here. Look at the thickness. Oh my gosh. This is gonna sit inside my stomach like a brick. Okay. This one is a cold sandwich. Perhaps, perhaps the most famous one. I wanna show you the smoked salmon. Again, this one is on toasted everything bagel. It has smoked salmon, lettuce, cream cheese, capers, tomato. I want to show you how beautiful this one looks. Come check this out. Can you see this right here? Look how big that is. I want to show you just like, boom. Yeah, look at that. Right here. Yes, look at that. And guys, I love smoked salmon. I think I'm gonna love this one. Okay, 
And the last one I want to show you. This is actually the white fish salad sandwich. And this one is on um, the everything bagel again. I actually asked them what the white fish was. They don't have a clear answer. They just said, just your regular white fish. Okay. The one thing I would say is they pay, perhaps need to train the staff a little bit better. But look at this white fish, white fish salad sandwich. You got lettuce, tomato, red onion. Yeah. All right. Four bagels for me to, to take down. You guys ready for this? Yeah. I'm ready. Let's start. All right. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna eat the hot bagels first so that they don't get cold towards the end, and I'm gonna leave the the cold ones last. So the first thing I'm gonna go for is I'm gonna go for the chipotle chicken bagel sandwich, and again. This one is on their everything bagel, and it's toasted. I want to show you guys, before I take my first bite, what's inside this. Take a look at this. Bacon, tomato, chicken, chipotle, cheese. All right? And this is toasted. Let me take a bite. Here we go. Mmm. First things first, the bagel. Soft, doughy, but not overly doughy or not overly dry. You see that? When squeezing it, it's got like that bounciness. Okay. Um, I think they're pretty really generous with the amount of like stuffing inside my bagel. Oh my gosh, look. It's a big wowzer. They're starting off strong. Look at this chicken right here. Real chicken. Got that stringy cheese. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. My lip is just like a little greasy, but all that goodness. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the everything bagel on this chipotle chicken is toasted. So actually everything is toasted except for the Asiago um, bacon, sa bacon uh, sandwich, which we're about to try next. But this one sets the bar pretty high straight from the beginning, okay? Next one I actually want to show you. Asiago bagel with turkey, bacon, egg. Or I should say bacon and egg, okay? In fact, a piece of my bacon just fell out. Now, appearance-wise, this looks a little boring, but maybe, just maybe, the Asiago cheese on top, can you see this right here, the Asiago cheese? This might make it up for the relatively boring inside. Let's find out. Mm. Right. First thing I noticed, the Asiago cheese is strong. So, I guess you don't need too much filling on the inside for the uh, for the sandwich. But I think just having two sides for the sandwich makes it a little bit boring. It needs some sort of spread. I actually think it might need like garlic uh, cream cheese to supplement this. So far, this kind of boring. This one is pretty thick. I think that one needs some cream cheese. Perhaps it does come with cream cheese and they forgot to put it on. But maybe I might check back with them because I actually think they forgot something in there. But so far, 
I can already tell that's gonna be my least favorite because it's a little dry, all right? Now, we're gonna go to the two cold sandwiches that are left on my table. I actually got the white fish salad sandwich on everything bagel. Look at this. Look how much like white fish they give me. There's like shredded lettuce, tomato, red onion, and white fish. And I actually asked, what kind of white fish is this? Their response verbatim is just normal white fish. Okay, so if you guys know what uh, white fish is used in the New York bagel um, white fish salad, please leave your comments down below so I know exactly what I'm eating. So I can't answer that question for you guys today, but maybe you guys will be able to answer uh, my question, all right? But anyways, let me show you what it looks like inside. Take a look. All right, let's go in for that first bite. Here we go. White fish salad sandwich. Mm. The white fish salad sandwich definitely tastes smoked. Mm. And it has like the consistency of tuna but a little fishiness but not not bad a little fishiness you definitely know you're tasting like smoked fish smoked cured fish but that smokiness definitely adds some flavor mm. and look how pretty that bagel is this is actually quite good i love how the um, red onion adds a little bit of kick a little spice just raw enough to give that sandwich a little kick right look at that they really stir this thing or blend the fish pretty well i don't see too many fish chunks it's almost like a paste let's give it a second try second bite here we go Mm. Oh. The mysterious white fish bagel sandwich is pretty good. I just would like to know exactly what fish I'm eating. Yet, I don't know. Mystery of the day. But, so far, mmm. So far, that may be my top favorite. Not sure yet. The, the, the smoked white fish and the chipotle chicken sandwich, pretty close. One is a hot sandwich, one is a cold sandwich. Both really, really good. Now, I say what I think is gonna be the best, one for last. And that's basically like a, smoked salmon sandwich and when I was doing some research on this place on the internet most people were posting pictures and videos about their smoked salmon sandwich and I think this is probably gonna be the highlight of best bagels in coffee no look at this this is a beautiful smoked salmon sandwich you got cream cheese on both sides, lettuce, tomato, bacon, or oh, tomato, red onion, and smoked salmon. I love how they apply the cream cheese evenly. And funny thing is, I'm eating bagel, but I actually asked for low-fat cream cheese. It's a joke, huh? All right. Anyways, what I think is gonna be the best. High hopes for this one. Let's go in for the first bite. Mm. 
I took a huge bite. And I can already tell that this is definitely my favorite one of the bunch. The internet, like I said before, is usually never wrong. But you guys, if you guys come here, definitely pick the smoked salmon cream cheese sandwich. Good smokiness, good savoriness, good saltiness, not overly salted. And it balances perfectly with all the vegetables and the soft doughiness of the New York City everything bagel. They're, they're so generous with the cream cheese. Probably more cream cheese than I ever need. But the bagel, the sandwich, it needs that cream cheese. To kind of like coat the dryness of the bagel. Okay. But dryness not in a bad way. Like I said before, New York City bagel, New York City bread, pizza, I think tastes all really, really good because of the New York City water. And I'm not exactly sure what's in that New York City water. Perhaps there's some really rich minerals that just adds flavor, adds some oomph to the, uh, to the dough. But this bagel has that balance, has that chewiness. Absolutely perfect. So, what do I think of this place? And what do I think of the name? The best bagel and coffee? Oh, you know what? Here's an afterthought. The coffee. I did actually did get coffee. Best bagel? Mmm. -hmm. It's pretty high up there. Okay. I'm not sure if it's the best bagel, but maybe one of the best bagel joints? Let's give the coffee a try. Since they said best bagel and coffee. Coffee's not bad. So, let me recap. Let me give you my score on the Chipotle sandwich. This one is probably going to be an 8.5. Okay, 8.5 on the Chipotle. I think the flavors are good. It's not too dry. And lots of chicken, lots of goodiness inside. The Asiago bagel with eggs and bacon okay this one actually was a little disappointing only because i think they're missing some cream cheese and uh this one without the cream cheese i probably give this a five and okay. now with with the cream cheese when i think which i think they should have included they're probably gonna be like a seven my guess but we'll never know because i don't have the cream cheese now this one the white fish, the mysterious white fish, okay? This is uh, my runner up. This one, I would give this a maybe eight, okay? The reason why I give this an eight is because I actually would like to eat a little bit, or get a little bit more of that white fish chunk. If you can see right here, the fish is a little bit more pasty. I guess they grind that fish almost to like a paste. So I would like to see a little bit more chunk on the white fish, but the star and the highlight of the day is this ba -da -da -da. smoked fish and salmon or smoked salmon sandwich with cream cheese on everything bagel toasted oh my gosh this one is for sure you gotta get and I'm actually gonna rate this one a 10 out of 10 because I think it's that that good I don't know if it can get any better than this I haven't had bagel that's better than this so maybe I've had bagels that's equally as good as this but I haven't had anything that's above and beyond this so this is probably at the pinnacle of smoked salmon uh, bagel sandwich if you guys have had uh, uh, another place that perhaps beats this definitely let me know in the comments down below but that is going to conclude today's episode on New York City's finest bagels and uh, coffee if you like this video, give me a big 
like, thumbs up, leave your comments down below. I love to hear what you say about uh, some of New York's finest bagels. And if you haven't already subscribed to my new YouTube channel, Epicurean with Eric A, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification on the top right hand corner of your screen so you always get notified when I post my next video. I'm still gonna be here in New York City for a couple of days. I will shoot a couple more videos for you guys to see. Uh, so stay tuned for the rest of this New York City adventure. We'll see you on the next video. Peace out.